Hi friends, here's a tip to get your amaryllis growing and blooming faster, rooting in stronger so they're less likely to topple over. And also when you go ahead and you do this tip, you'll get earlier and more vigorous leafy growth from your amaryllis bulbs. Now this tip comes to us from Cornell and Kansas State University. In 2013, they were doing a lot of trialing and recording their trials, trying to really figure out how to produce the most uniform amaryllis plants that could then be sold to a consumer. How could they really get early and vigorous leafy growth? And also how could they produce amaryllis stems that could hold themselves upright in the pot without toppling over? And what they found, and the tip is, to soak your amaryllis bulbs roots in room temperature water, 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 24 hours prior to planting. And then you get all these great benefits early, more vigorous and uniform leafy growth, faster blooming, a stronger root system that better supports the weight of the flowering scape and also the flower themselves. And they trialed it against bulbs that of course were not soaked at all. And they also tried some bulbs that were soaked for one hour. They discovered, of course, there was a significant difference between bulbs not soaked at all and those soaked. But interestingly, bulbs soaked for one hour, they didn't see any difference at all in their performance. So they're really telling us with their research to go ahead, soak our bulbs roots only. And I'm just using just a basic glass for this to keep the roots in water and the bulb out of water 12 to 24 hours prior to planting. Now, you probably know that I'm really an amaryllis enthusiast. So when I discovered this wonderful study, I wanted to give it a try here in my home. I really wanted to see the difference for myself and I'm really excited to share what I found with all of you. So what I decided to do was I got three of the exact same bulb from the same supplier. These are all a double amaryllis, beautiful, isn't it? Called Alaska. I planted them on the same day into the same pot, I used the same medium, I watered them the same, they all lived in the exact same location. The only difference was I soaked these two in water for, I would say it was probably about 13 hours exactly, and this one I didn't soak at all. At about three weeks, these were blooming, and this particular bulb right here is on its third flowering stem. I just happened to cut some of them because they were kind of all blooming together and I wanted to enjoy some by my bed also. But isn't that difference phenomenal? Soaked versus not soaked. I almost thought something was wrong with this particular ball, but I do see it's broken dormancy. I see a leaf. I see a flower bud right here. And back by me, I see another flower bud. It looks like it even has a baby. So it is growing and it will catch up. But I just thought trying out this Cornell experiment here in my own home was so fascinating. And look at this. This is the amaryllis that we planted together 15 days ago, 15 days. And I had soaked the roots of this bulb prior to planting it with you in the video. And it's so close to even opening up. I can see the little separation that starts to happen in the bloom stalk. This will probably start to fully separate in two days. And I would say five to six days, it'll be in full bloom. So what does that take us? 20, maybe 25 days from planting to bloom? Two bloom stalks, but the leaves and the uniformity of the leaves, again, was what was really interesting to see. Five leaves coming out of here. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. Seven leaves coming out of this one. Six leaves coming out of this one. But once again, they really did come out kind of all the same uniform growth. And that's what the study was really going for. My understanding at least is that the study was done for those who would sell potted amaryllis. How can those people get them growing and provide a uniform plant 
to the consumer that's not going to topple over in a display. But we can certainly use this tip in our own homes. So friends, I just thought this was such a great tip. It's the first time I've ever soaked in amaryllis. I just adore amaryllis, you know that. Ever since I was a little girl growing them with my grandma, but we never soaked the roots. I had never heard that before. So I'm going to link the study in the description below. I'm gonna link the website and then I'm going to attempt to link the PDF. But just know if you go to the website, you need to scroll down and click the PDF so you can see the full study and the pictures. The pictures are really, really helpful and interesting of bulbs that weren't soaked and bulbs that were soaked. Well, I hope you find yourself surrounded with amaryllis today and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.